here. Let's go in and see what it looks like. So, give me a second. Crocodile's already been here. Um, cool. And as you can see, you know, actually last video, none of this was was done. Uh, I think, uh, you know, for the budget, you know, turned out pretty good, I believe. Uh, you know, we'll see as I continue to walk through it. But uh, feeling pretty good with what I'm seeing right now. Oh, yeah, they're gonna like this. And nothing fancy. No towel or anything like that, which, you know, was a possibility in this, but uh, don't necessarily think uh, it's needed to get the price point that that we're shooting for with this particular property. Um, uh, like I say, you know, you got to factor in, you know, things as far as appraisals, uh, other aspects of when you go to sell the property. Um, do boom this is one of those you know lipsticks on the pig type situations you know with this one we did have a pretty substantial foundation issue i think our foundation budget uh foundation budget was uh i think this one here was right around eight grand so uh the budget definitely was you know pretty hefty for for just the foundation but uh We'll definitely recoup that, you know, with the sale. Let's see. And just nothing fancy, man. You know, come in. You know, it actually had pretty decent windows. Might need a thorough cleaning. You know, yeah, it's still a little dusty. But, uh, you know, windows pretty, pretty decent. So, I actually had newer windows in it. Uh, I probably could have touched up a little better, but... Uh, didn't have to worry about windows, you know, this was pretty much outside of the fact of foundation. I mean, we had some little plumbing issues, uh, which, uh, were addressed. I mean, you see the bath, I think, in a previous video. You know, it wasn't unfancy, nothing spectacular, just nice, clean, crisp. Uh, yeah, we got some touch-ups to do, but... Um, you know, simple, you know, nothing fancy, nothing spectacular, you know, someone can just actually move into it, feel good, know that, uh, everything works, function, and, uh, for the price point, would definitely be, uh, a, a, a good product, uh, you know, so, let's see what the garage one car garage, which is always a plus. Uh, I don't know why I heard. But, uh, it was Definitely could have used some clean up as far as the foundation, but, uh, central heating air, three bedroom, one bath, so definitely thinking possibly in the 90s, you know, 80 to 95 range give or take but uh you know the market will demand it but you know we're just gonna put it out and see what we can we can get uh but you know these type of deals on don't, don't you know you, you actually have to be out looking for them uh i would say the rehab budget on this particular property should be roughly uh 20 20 and below, uh, I think we might have to come back do a few little touch-ups here and there, but uh, then actually we might end up replacing the roof uh, if uh, the buyer wants that. But uh, I think it should be a pretty pretty easy flip, you know. Uh, I think this was a, what type of timeline do we have? I have to go back and look at the actual date we closed on it, but pretty quick little flip. You know, we actually be probably listing this property today, no later than tomorrow. You know, in the process of that, we'll probably come out, make a few little more touch-ups, 
but uh, this bad boy finished complete I'm about to hit the market and as they say gotta find myself another property to flip uh, definitely okay with the finished product you know just a small little touch up here and there but uh, you know on to the next one so y'all stay tuned I'll update as far as what the sales process went like and price point uh, you know time to close time to contract you know and uh I'll see you at the next video. Got a couple more to get to today. So, it's your boy, Major Vernon Jai, a.k.a. Mr. Money Man, a.k.a. I do real estate, a.k.a. I'm an entrepreneur. Signing off. See y'all at the next property.